Good evening and welcome to the daily market update. The DSCX rebounded to the green zone today as the market gained 17.11 points or 0.28% and settled at 6,199 points. Market turnover was BDT 2.68 billion, which is an increase of 13.10% compared to the previous trading day. Orion Pharma, Orion Infusion and Kohinoor Chemicals from the pharmaceutical sector, Bangladesh Shipping Corporation, Stern Housing and Summit Alliance Port from the industrial sector and IT consultants, Amra Networks, ADN Telecom and Genex Infosys from the IT sector mainly pulled the market up today. In terms of sector-wise return, the IT sector posted the highest gain of 5.13%, while the tannery sector registered the second highest gain of 0.99%. On the other hand, the banking sector posted the highest loss of 0.08%. Five IT companies and three industrial companies were among the top 20 gainers today. Metro Spinning, Amra Networks and Gemini Seafood registered the highest gain, while Sea Pearl, Zeal Bangla and Shonali Ash were the top losers. There is no publicly disclosed price-sensitive information for the price change of these stocks. The trading volume of Associated Oxygen, Al Arafa Islami Bank and Renvig Judge Network increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There is no publicly disclosed material reason for the volume increase of these stocks. Today's top two news. Interest spread of commercial banks have ebbed to the lowest 2.95% in January among the last 27 months this year due to the withdrawal of deposit flow rate. Lending rate cap of 9% excluding consumer loans coupled with continuous rising costs of funds is shrinking the interest spread and the profitability of the commercial banks. The over-dependency on fiat currency may slowly fade away as the exponential growth of mobile financial services MFS is taking place. With more than a decade in the bag, MFS still faces barriers due to the lack of awareness from the stakeholders. There is still room for growth in both OTC, over-the-counter payments, and as an option for receiving or payment of corporate houses. That's all for today. We will be back again tomorrow with more updates on Dhaka Stock Exchange. Follow Alert Global on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.